decor adventure in today's video i'm sharing with you all new diy spring summer decor crafts so let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to craft for this dollar tree diy i am really excited to share with you how to create this diy little side table or garden planter so i'm using five of the dollar tree garden planters and they're in this really cool geometric shape i hot glued the first two together so i just flipped one over hot glued it um, end to end and then added in some stones for weight we don't want our table flying away and then i'm adding another layer of hot glue and flipping that garden planter over i'm just continuing to add it as I go. Try to do your best to get your seams together. You can also use E6000 glue if this table is going to be outside or in the sunlight. That would be a great idea. And then once you get to the top, you can choose whatever top you want. You could use a mirror. You could use a cute little plate. The next thing I did was I used some of this really beautiful metallic spray paint and I decided to go a little bit glam with mine. Now, that's really Really cute white but again I wanted to add just a little bit of touch of glam to my back patio and so I went painting it with this really beautiful gold spray paint and I did one layer and then did another layer after that was dry I'm also using this Dollar Tree charger and this is a wooden it's like a faux wooden charger I didn't want to cover up the wood part but I did want to make sure that the underneath part of this was sprayed gold as well so if you were to look up underneath the the table it doesn't look like a charger I guess <laughs> and so I'm just using some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the charger to the top of my table again use e6000 glue if this is going to be a high traffic table or it's going to get into the heat and then I just pop my little charger on top of that and then you can really go to town decorating it um, this is under a covered patio porch so I think it will be fine as is I have my little rote table out here as well as my little lemon table on my patio as well and here's how I styled it just with this really pretty planter and a couple of these other Dollar Tree planters and I'm going to share with you guys how to create this blue planter you will never guess what we used to make this so fun and fabulous on a total budget for this next Dollar Tree DIY I want to share with you all how to build a glamorous vase on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies. Okay, so we're gonna use these Dollar Tree candlesticks and then some of their mini fish bowls. And I'm just using E6000 glue and that's gonna give a permanent hold. And E6000 glue is great for gluing glass on glass. And then I used a dab of hot glue and I'm going to attach those and I let these dry for a while. In fact, I used them also in another DIY to share with you guys how to create like a little faux succulent garden. So you guys can fill these little glass bowls with pretty much anything that your heart desires or you can take it up another level and you can glue everything together and make this large vase. Okay, so I glued the E6000 um, to the bottom of the candlestick and had flipped the little bowl over and now I'm adding some hot glue again just for temporary and then permanent hold and then I added one of the Dollar Tree vases to the top of this and then I decided to get super extra and go for some gems or little faux acrylic jewels on the outside of my vase now don't mind the black part on that vase I am going to paint this and excuse my hot glue gun it has moss from another Dollar Tree project and that Dollar Tree moss is really hard to get off the hot glue guns so I need to give a good scraping but I apologize for its um, rather a crafty appearance so anyway again I'm just gluing some gems on and then be sure after you're done gluing all your gems on to like pull away any of those little strings from your glue if you decide to paint it like I did you guys could also add things down inside of that bowl vase to create just a really beautiful decor piece you don't have to paint this at all so then once I had that done I decided to add another layer of gems to the top of this I just went super extra on this one you guys and then I decided to paint it with this gold spray paint. Again, I wanted a glam, large, tall vase to put some spring summer flowers in and also to kind of match in with my little table that I created. Now, I will tell you that this glass jar, because of the thin base, 
Um, you may want to put something down inside of the vase when you make your floral arrangement to get it to not tip over if it's going to be in wind. I did notice like when I was making this arrangement outside, <laughs> it wanted to tip over because of the wind. And also I'm using these like dangling flowers and that probably also made it kind of a little bit uh, top heavy. So now I'm adding in some beautiful roses and those are just some Dollar Tree like blooming flowers. I can't remember what those are. Comment down below if you guys remember what those are. And these are just some roses that I had left over honestly from Christmas. If you guys go to the Michaels um, clearance sale on their florals, you guys can get 80% off any seasonal floral. So continue to add some florals, have fun with it, get creative and use whatever colors you have in your stash. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I am so excited to share with you how you can take one of those Dollar Tree garden planters and you can take a piece of paper and trace a little template. And then you can take one of the Dollar Tree placemats. And I chose this Moroccan tile placemat because I wanted to make this look like a real Moroccan um, tile garden planter. I've had this in my head to do for a while. So I was just really excited to make it come to life. So now I'm taking my little template and I'm drawing the little squares and I'm going to then cut those out and hot glue them around to make it look like a Moroccan tile vase. I've really noticed that, you know, you can really use blues in a lot of your spring summer decor and it can go with almost any style of spring summer decor like the Moroccan tiles or the blues. It can go glam. It can be very traditional. Um, and this little Dollar Tree placemat, I felt like was genius to put this together. I felt like it came out really high end. And of course it's on a total budget with a placemat and for $1 for a placemat and then $1 for the planter, you can't go wrong. So once you have all of your little squares cut, um, I did have to go in and kind of like trim mine up just a little bit. Then I'm just going to hot glue them around the entire planter. And also you have to work quickly, quickly once you get your glue on. So once you get that glue on, be ready ready to put your tile right on there or your faux piece of plastic. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering almost too, if you couldn't use super glue on this part, you guys, let me know what you think about that. This is the first for me on this one. Um, so anyway, and then I'm just, again, adding glue all the way around. And I also tried to match up the tiles with how I cut them. So I cut them in wherever the next tile was I tried to make it look like it was like one flow although there was that there was that one corner that I had to cut a different size anyway now I'm going for it with a little bit of gold paint and this is the gold paint from Arteza brand it's really like looks makes it look really like real gold so it makes things look really high end you can get it on Amazon I'll link some in my store for you guys and now I'm just going to take um, my little foam piece from Dollar Tree and create a pretty little arrangement so I'm adding some greenery to the center and then some of these little faux Dollar Tree fern greenery pieces. And I just cut those apart to kind of give them like a blooming appearance. I also added in some stones to this planter so the planter doesn't go flying off of my patio or so it doesn't tip over or whatnot. It's good just to do that. Um, and then I'm just using some Dollar Tree moss and popping that in to cover up my little... Um, <laughs> piece of foam in there and then voila there we have a fabulous garden planter and it looks kind of Moroccan and chic on a budget you guys I think it's a fun idea and I also think it would be really nice to find a really beautiful stencil and try my hand at stenciling like some blue kind of Moroccan looking tile um, but this is very high-end kind of pottery barn inspired or you know just a little bit glam chic like something you would find at home goods but it's from Dollar Tree on a budget <laughs> 
Now this next Dollar Tree DIY is so easy and it's so fun and I feel like really budget friendly as well. So you're just going to take some of the Dollar Tree canvases and they have this really amazing geometric canvas art that they have just put out. So you guys look in your picture section, which is also along with like your candles and candlesticks and all of that. But what I wanted to do with my canvas art, which it's beautiful to hang as is, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to frame mine. I wanted to look um, like it was a framed piece of art that I can just kind of set around my house and some little vignettes and whatnot. You could also hang this on the wall in kind of a little bit of a collage. So I'm just taking and using a crafting tool and some scissors. I'm cutting the canvas out and then with this five by seven picture frame, the little insert, I'm using that as my guide and then just cutting it out. And I will tell you, I did finally order some craft scissors. So hopefully my rusty dull scissors will be remedied here. They're not exactly rusty, but they are so dull. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just going to pop the glass back in and then add my beautiful framed art. And I really think that this came out so fantastic. I think Dollar Tree, I love these frames. They're so classy and elegant. They're almost like a dark black wood insert of the frame and they have this gold around it. And I know Hobby Lobby sells this almost identical frame. It's not even as nice as this for way more than a dollar. So again, here is another idea for some frame canvas art I also found this cute little like shabby chic a bundle of flowers and lamb and little donkey or horse and so I decided to use the lamb and also um, the little rose floral picture and again these pictures are beautiful you guys as is but I'm trying to create like a little um, vignette of pictures and I'm not totally for sure where I want to put this yet in my house. I might either separate them or keep them together and just like make a little um, collage framed art wall type thing is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here's how it looks after it's framed. I feel like it looks really heightened and chic. I was going to paint um, this frame, the ones with kind of the more shabby chic um, looking pictures, but then I decided against it. I really decided that I loved how they popped against that darker frame color and I have been mixing in a little bit of black um, recently into some of my pastel decor and I really feel like I love how it looks. It just looks a little bit more glam chic and a little bit more high end because it gives things a bit of dimension instead of it being so overly feminine. You have that nice, um, you know, just contrast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, I did hate cutting down this little rose picture, though, because I did feel like it didn't quite fit in here it probably needed a little bit different size frame but I wanted it to be a collection and to all go together so here is how it turned out now I displayed it on my little outdoor patio table just to give you guys an idea of where you might want to put this I still need to redo some little vignettes in my house to make space for these or find a wall that I want to put them on but I think they're so fabulous look for some of these beautiful new framed or these canvas prints and then also some frames or you could just use as is happy crafting So excited to share this DIY with you. Now we're gonna take one of those little kids watering cans. It's the plastic, it's from the kids section, either in toys or in your like pool toy section of Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take some of this smoky beige spray paint. I love this color, I think it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna give it a nice good coat. Now I did run out of my smoky beige, and so I had to use another coat on here and it ended up just being white, and that's what I had in my stash, which that's totally fine as well. Um, but I'll tell you, I think smoky beige is now my new favorite color and the smoky beige is available in the rust-oleum brand spray paint the 2x rust-oleum brand now i'm taking my little painted dollar tree watering can again a kid's toy i think it comes out so fabulous and i'm just adding in these pretty little roses now these roses did come from hobby lobby i don't know how long ago because i picked them up from a neighbor's garage sale like 
three years ago probably and the tags even then looked old but Hobby Lobby does have beautiful like realistic roses so does Michaels and even Dollar Tree has beautiful roses you know just depending on what color you want and what budget you want to use on those and check out this beautiful tablecloth that I found at the thrift store this weekend it was two dollars it's so pretty and summery I was so excited to find it I knew I wanted it for my DIY for this video but anyway I just used some hydrangeas and some pretty little roses and I'm popping it into this spring summer tablescape and it's just like this little peekaboo of a watering can. It's very subtle, it's very elegant. I could even like rim it with gold to match these dishes and my husband found these dishes at an auction and they were like $8 for the entire set so I'm stoked to find those as well. pots that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and again I used that smoky beige and just spray painted them and I have real soil in them and I've already successfully killed a couple of plants this season so I'm gonna go ahead and pop some faux flowers into here and I have no shame in my faux gardening games so comment down below if you guys are there with me but I'm using these tulips I found these super cheap at Walmart they were like three bucks for the bundle they're not the most high-end but they're gonna be on the back patio so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal and I just wanted something pretty I did bend the stems down and that helped them you know go into the pot a little bit better this is one of the larger dollar tree gardening pots and then i just added them to these pretty little scrolly um, hobby lobby stands and there you have some successful tulips on a budget and i cannot kill these which honestly in the long run with some of the plants that i'm not that great with i think might be a better idea so i do like to supplement real flowers with fake flowers so i'll have like some really beautiful real hanging baskets and then I'll have like some planters that just have faux flowers in them and you can even change them out if they're inexpensive faux flowers like after the summer sun fades them out change them out and once fall gets here you can put some fall leaves in once Christmas gets there you can put some Christmas greenery here's how it's coming together all with my little faux garden planter and a faux Moroccan tile um, a planter and all of these plants right here I think look beautiful and they're gonna stay alive which is what I love more than anything <laughs> fun and quick easy Dollar Tree DIY little cake stand or pedestal idea. I'm going to take some of these Dollar Tree candlesticks and I'm just going to glue them together end to end with a dab of E6000 glue and then I'm going to take this Dollar Tree mirror and I'm going to clip the like little mirror part off of there and that way I can just hot glue the mirror to the top of the candlestick and I'm using hot glue on this part because if I want to change change it out all I have to do is pull the mirror off and put a plate on there or something like that and again remove that little spot where the mirror is going to supposed to be hanging on the wall because it kind of makes it where it pops out and you want your uh, 
mirror to set flat on top of your little pedestal or your little candlestick. Okay, so these are candlesticks from Dollar Tree. And here we have some fabulous little cake stands, pedestals. You guys know I love these. I love decorating with them. I think they're so versatile. Okay, so here's how they look. They look pretty cute like this. But again, I'm going in with my smoky beige. And excuse my mess over there. <laughs> Just some little DIY ideas going on. But I'm going to use the smoky beige. And again, this is Rust-Oleum paint brand. And this isn't sponsored at all, but I just love their paint brand as well as the smoky beige color. I just think that it's like so nice and it's not quite as bright as white. I feel like it's something that you would see like on Pottery Barn. Um, anyway, I think these are amazing how they transformed. I almost did them black or gold. And really you guys could use any color you love, like whatever decorating color that you're using, go for that. So you guys know I love to pop in a secret question on my videos, and let's introduce ourselves and get to know each other. Um, I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. So you guys comment down below your name, and if you want to leave the state that you live in, that would be fine too. So just say hey in the comments. I love to get to know everybody. Um, and I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page if you want to connect even more. There's a lot of fun DIY crafty people over there. It's totally free, and we have a lot of fun just in general on my Facebook. Facebook page. I post several DIY videos a day over there. So to enter my giveaway, all you guys have to do is comment down below, say hello, um, leave your name if you're comfortable doing that, or you can leave the state that you live in. Um, and so I live in Southern Missouri, a fun time is there, and it's really a beautiful area. I have lived here for the majority of my life, and I love it here. We have all four seasons, and it's just a really beautiful place to live, and I'm really proud that it's my home, and I feel like it's just a happy place to be as well. Um, so thank you guys for being here, and I will say it's nice to get to know you. I hope that I can learn more about you guys and that you guys connect even more with me, and that will give you an entry into my giveaway, and also you have to follow my Facebook page. So those will be the two things you need to do is answer the secret question and um, follow my Facebook page. Now here's Benji Bear. He is causing a commotion. I could not figure out why he was barking and barking and barking. He's wanting me to play with him with this little toy, this little chew bone toy or hand it to him. It was like sitting next to his toy box, which is just like a little Dollar Tree bin, but he's scared of the toy box for some reason I figured out. So anyway, he's always causing a commotion, but say hi to Benji Bear as well. I love y'all. description box below to check out the details on that giveaway and if you guys are new I would love to have you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel punch that bell it'll update you every time I post a new video and thank you guys so much for being here crafting and decorating and all of the kind comments you share are so amazing and felt and I know they bless me and they bless others that read them so don't forget to spread kindness love and joy um, I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page you guys I post several DIY videos a day over there to keep you guys inspired and crafting and decorating and all of that fun and stuff. So pop over there, follow me over there. I also have a free little Facebook group page. You guys are gonna love that as well. And if you wanna say good morning to me with a good morning cup of coffee, I share a prayer card and a coffee um, on my Instagram story as well. So I love y'all to the moon and back. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you everybody that's from Heidi's channel. Um, I'm just blessed and honored to have you guys here. So I'm wishing you a fabulous, gorgeous, blessed day. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and we'll talk to you very soon. Mm, bye bye. I love you. Ooh.